Oh, hey, I am so glad you made it to your midweek shot in the arm. And today's shot is gratitude. You ready? Let's go. Gratitude, simply put, is pausing to notice and appreciate the things we often take for granted. You guys already know we are headed straight to our instruction manual. And today's instructions come out of Psalm 61, verse 2, King James Version. And it reads, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Amen. Listen, there are so many levels of power in this psalm. Because when you read it in its entirety, um, the psalmist David shared his troubled heart <laughs> while still singing about his trust in the Lord. So we can find comfort in this psalm when we are feeling overwhelmed because it teaches us. It teaches us about God's goodness. It teaches us gratitude, okay? How to be grateful, how to pause and notice and appreciate the things we often take for granted, the things that he's already done for us, okay? And if we are honest, let me lean in a little bit. If we are honest, there are many of us that are just like David, that have those feelings of being overwhelmed, okay? Those feelings of loneliness, isolation, uh, weariness, you know, even feelings of just losing hope, if we're being honest. But then comes that petition at the end of this verse. Listen, the end of this verse says, lead me to the rock. <laughs> that is higher than I. So look, let me dive right into our devotion today, okay? And this devotion is hot off the press, hot off the press. And I couldn't wait to encourage you all because it encouraged me so. Um, so listen, I am coming off of a very, very intense, very emotional, very engaging, work week and it seemed like anything that could happen did happen anything that could take place took place okay I mean it was just one thing after another but throughout each shift okay when things would get a little rocky pun intended when things would get a little rocky or seem to be unbearable I would pull out <laughs> my rock I hope y'all can see that. And my rock says gratitude. Okay, I will pull this rock out of my pocket and begin to remind myself of the things that I needed to be grateful about. Okay, when this rock would touch my hand, it triggered me to remember the goodness. Come on now, the goodness of God. It triggered gratitude. Okay, so many times, so many times when we are in those difficult places, those challenging moments, when things aren't going the way we want them to go, when we're facing betrayal, when the spouse is acting crazy, when the kids are running amok, you know, family members doing what they want to do, you know, the career path that you were expecting to take, it seems delayed. When things are just popping off, my God, we don't readily have reminders but can I tell you this here? <laughs> hey, this rock <laughs> that I hold in my hand triggers me to remember the rock. All right, it triggers me to remember the rock. And I just want to take a moment and just encourage you all, okay? I want to encourage you to take a moment. And you may not have a rock in your hand right now, but take a moment and pull on a memory. Come on now, find a memory. I know you have a memory, a testimony of what the rock has done for you. This rock that I hold makes me God conscious. Okay, it makes me God conscious. It allows me to pause in the midst of things. It allows me to reflect on my response. It allows me to remember who the rock, who the rock is. Am I responding like the rock? I'll wait. 
<laughs> am I responding like my father? Yeah. <laughs> it really causes you to pause. It causes that trigger. And make no mistake about it. The rock is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Okay? Gratitude. Hear me clearly. Gratitude is a choice. Say la. Now remember, this shot is for you. So maximize your shot of gratitude. Until next time.